Let's go. We made it. Let's see the view. That's great. We're on the road, we got a three and three this weekend, uh, Hartford game in a little bit, and then we bust at Wilkes-Barre after, and the third game is gonna be back to Connecticut, playing against Bridgeport. But we got here two days ago, yesterday was just a practice day. I'll be backing up tonight. Plan is for me to play tomorrow. And I know this video is really delayed, but I've got the new Bowers that I haven't really broken in yet. I got a brand new set of Drew gear to test out that I actually like a lot. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna switch. It's a 580 glove, I do like it. Um, but tomorrow's game, I'm gonna go back to my old Bowers. I'm also uh, using a new CCM Chesty that I think I'm gonna to switch to when it's ready and broken in, but I'm going back to my Bauer chesty for the game. So last trip to Toronto, they had three bags for me. I think this trip too, they had three bags of gear for me. So just some kind of trying to break stuff in, kind of see if I like the true stuff or not, and then go back to the old stuff for games. Since I'm five and oh, I can't, I can't really change out of that. I also got a new Apex mask. Ron did a great job with little adjustments that I wanted. I think it's one of my favorite masks up to date. It's also painted by PPK Creations, so, but that's kind of, that's a lot of info. I gotta go up to the game. With the hockey offseason approaching for most of us, it's important we keep training and stay sharp when we got less access to ice time. If you're looking for a great off-ice training experience, you gotta check out the NHL Sense Arena. It's a VR training game that brings the on-ice practice experience home so you can train anytime and anywhere. With modes for both players and goalies, you get unlimited access to 100 plus drills, training plans from pro coaches, weekly drill challenges, and access to online multiplayer. I've been using this for five months now and it's been super helpful for me to get mentally ready before practice or games 
and it lets me focus on skills like dealing with screens and deflections, which are tough to replicate when I'm training by myself and really helps to run through some of those scenarios before games. Go check out NHL Sense Arena. I highly suggest it. And you can get started with a $50 off the annual plan with my code CAS, K-A-Z. When checking out on their website, the link is down below in the description and take your training to a new reality now. Game day, start day for me here in Wilkes-Barre. We got in late last night after the game. So no morning skate, just got to the rink, had some meetings, um, just kind of some, did some stretching, get the body moving. And then uh, that's where the VR, the NHL Sense Arena is good for to kind of mimic a morning skate, get some shots without actually having to go all the way on the ice. Never actually played here in Wilkes-Barre before. I've backed up one game with the Marlies when we came down here. So it'll be my, uh, my first time playing here. So tonight's game is at six, and then we go back to Connecticut about three hours. We play Bridgeport afternoon game tomorrow to finish off the three and three. I got four games left on the PTO, and the, it was a 25 game PTO that was just 25 games in the schedule for the team. So that's coming to an end after next Friday's game against Toronto. But sounds like they want to keep me for the rest of the season, which is mission accomplished. Basically for me, I just wanted a job. I just wanted to get some games in after sitting at home for the first half of the season. So we kind of had some conversations this week and uh, the team kind of left it up for me if I want to do another PTO, which will be 25 games. It would get me till the end of the regular season. And that's where on a PTO, the team would have to pay for housing. And it's nice that we're in an apartment now and they're reimbursing because it's less than what the hotel would be. So it's a perfect setup. Or if I just wanted to do a standard contract for the rest of the season, which I prefer, and the team is awesome enough to kind of look at the numbers on the, on the salary to make up for the housing. So it would still be basically covered. Obviously I could assign with any team, but I didn't look. I just wanted to stay here. That's where my focus has been since the day I got here. So it, it was a no brainer that I'm focused here. I want to help out the team. I feel comfortable. It's, it's a great setup that we have, so I'm happy here. So that was kind of a off the table. So, so whatever Laval wanted to do with me, I was all in. So hopefully get that contract signed here in the next couple days, but the focus is on the game. Gonna get a little bit of napping, catch up on some sleep, and then it's a uh, six o'clock buck drop. It's a three on two rush, starts here for Laval. Pass, looking in front, they were trying to get it to Gallipo. Fadoon able to break that up. Here's a shot from the slot that knuckles off the heel of the stick of Logan Mayu. All-star this season for the Rocket. Mayu, first round pick defenseman, back to the point, Gallipo, slap shot, tipped in. And a two on one rush. Pass, back door, they shoot and score! Stick handling in the corner is Joshua. Bottom of the right circle, shoots and scores! And you're gonna see Jagger Joshua shortly get his fourth goal of the year, announced by Bobby Day. Here's a quick shot by Fadoon, rebound, sent on goal, they score again! Urge both teams to get that puck along. Goes to Blomquist, pass in front, Trudeau spots it a bouncing puck and puts it in. Jan Misak with his second of the game. Trying to keep it onside. 12 seconds left in the power play. Rappo walks down Main Street, he scores! Evans taps one around the wall as Maia will set up again from the left side half wall. Tries a shot off the mask of Blomquist, loose, the rebound put in. Looking at the empty net, Hill scores! No icing, Abandonado, shot, block, another try, Anson stopped in front, and now Andonovsky puts in the three, two, one, it's over. Instant Tomatoes Night presented by Visit Luzerne County, a rousing success. One, two, three, four, f Hi guys, this is the, the Rocket Free, and it's, can you tell? No. It's your turn. What is it? The balloon? Yeah. Yeah. I signed a contract, so we're staying, right? Yep. My dad, can I say daddy, Cass? Yeah, Mom, you can say whatever you want. Get in. Cassie, Cassie Zoo signed a co kind. Contract? A contract. Let's go. And he, he is staying for the whole week. Season? the whole season, and he is 
playing for the rocket. We got rocket balloon to celebrate. What? Cut, cut. <laughs> Got some coffee on the shirt. Whatever. But yes, the morning after the Wilkes-Barre game, uh, we're at the hotel in, in Bridgeport. Uh, woke up to contract in my, uh, my email inbox. So signed it before I even got out of bed. So we are uh, standard AHL contracts for the rest of the season with Laval Rocket. But the game, lost two tomatoes they were wearing some some uh specialty jerseys they had they were called the tomatoes the whole game so that's the first first time i've ever lost to the tomatoes but um i yeah. the first what yeah piece of potatoes uh, piece of tomatoes yes tomatoes. To tomato tomato Tomato, tomato, daddy. Yeah, but uh, first period was good, and uh, they had a couple, couple chances. We scored one, and then to start off the second period. We had a tough couple minutes. They scored three goals. So the first one was um, two on one. He made a pass back door. I kind of just reached for it, hit my palm, and the palm kind of. The puck was on the palm and it was on my pad and I rotated and it just, just went in the net. Unlucky p play, they made, it was a good pass, it was showing shot too, he could have shot it, he made a pass. Um, I think I, I could have had a better push, I feel like I was drifting a little too far with my, my legs, so that's going to be a focus uh, this next next week. And um, But yeah, it was, it was super close of making that save, scored. Right after they come in the zone, um, they're trying to make a pass back door from, from my glove side. So I go down, I'm expecting the puck to go across me, hits our defenseman, bounces perfectly right above my shoulder, top corner, short side. So uh, nothing, nothing I could have done on that, just an unfortunate bounce. And then uh, they obviously scored a third one too right after. Uh, it was a point shot with some traffic when it came through. Uh, bounced right to their guy. He was able to take me across. I got there good. I found my edge. I got a good push. It felt like I saved it, but somehow my pad, my skate, it found its way in the net. So uh, that, was a, that was a dark couple minutes for us. And then, and then in the third period, Kind of in the beginning, we got we got some penalties, and then they um, after after killing all those penalties, they kind of a broken play. They got to walk down the middle and shot blocker side, and I think that was the same thing. I was uh, kind of drifting with my stands. I wasn't taking the small shuffles to stay on my line. I kind of was falling behind. So, and then they scored a couple empty netters for uh, my first loss of the season, but. The contract is now done, so that's my first mission accomplished. Nothing changes. Still got to have that underdog mentality, prove myself. You know, every game is important. Every shot is important. The focus is on getting the team into the playoffs, which we uh, have some have some work to do, which is which is fine. I know it's a tight league. Every game every game matters. So, but one more game left on this video. Uh, we had a three and a half hour bus after the after the Wilkes-Barre game to uh, back to Connecticut and to play uh, Bridgeport, not Sound Tigers, but now Islanders. Pass back behind the goal line in the final minute of the first. Rocket battling, keeping the Islanders zone. Pass out front. One time shot is in. Hanneman looking for Torinsky. He's all got a hit, and here comes Torinsky. A rather bad show, he scores. By two on Banks. They've got speed. Going to rush to Torinsky, they score. Second goal of the night for Matt Maggio. He has a point. I missed you. I missed you too. Thanks for coming and picking me up. Daddy! Hey! <laughs>